What's up everyone, Ben Murphy here, and today I am with the BMW, with this BMW M4, and I'm gonna explain the dual clutch transmission and how this car goes into park, because it's a little confusing. So basically what the dual clutch transmission is, is that there is a clutch for your odd number gears, and then there's another clutch for your even number gears for quicker shifting. All right, so let me start the car up. <coughs> so to put this car in reverse, it's a little confusing. You have to go over to the left, and then you have to go up. And now you can see it's in reverse. And so when you put the car in reverse, it doesn't actually move, so like, my foot is not on the brake at all. It doesn't actually move. So you have to actually give it some gas. And then the car will start to go in reverse. All right, and to put this car into drive, you just go down and in the, in the center is neutral and you push it to the right. And now you can see on the dash that it says D right here for drive. So yeah, to engage the car in drive, you pull back down to the center and you push to the right, it's in drive. And right now I'm just lifting my foot off the grit, off the brake. And same with reverse is the same thing with drive. If you do not give the car any gas, like it won't move at all. So there I give it to gas and now it finally starts to move. Like if you come to a stop with this thing and you don't give it any gas, like it won't roll forward at all. Say you're driving along and you want to put the car in manual to use the paddle shifters. All you have to do is push it to the right again. And as you can see, it shows you you're in manual. It shows you that you're in fourth gear. And just like that, you can use the paddle shifters like you can shift down. So that is really shifting for this car. That's all there is to it. So if you wanna put your car back into just normal automatic mode instead of being a manual, like as you can see now it's in manual as your gear. But if you wanna go back to just normal automatic mode and not shift with the paddle shifters, you just flick it again to the right. And as you can see it says drive and that's how you know you're in automatic. If you flick it right again, it's manual. And every time you flick the shifter right, it'll switch between automatic and manual. So now for putting this car in park, it's a little difficult. It's a little difficult because there's no actual parking like mode on this button. As you can see, there's only reverse, neutral, and drive, and then the manual mode. So the car does not need to be in neutral when you put it in park. It can just be in normal drive. And you just click the off button right here. And you'll notice right now it just switched to P. It switched for park right there. But say you were to want to and the parking brake does not need to be on. When you put it in park, it'll just stay in park and act like normal park mode. But say you like you want to go inside and keep the car running, then yes, I would put the parking brake on to like not have it roll or anything. Just put it in neutral and put the parking brake on. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want some more informational car videos. It's free. It really helps me out. Drop a like on the video if you liked it. And comment down below if you have any questions or if and also what else you'd like to see me do. And I will see you guys in the next video.